Alright, hey everyone again. <laughs> Dexstar Star 667. Just, this is crazy. Um, oh, there's the other one. Uh, Bro, his own transistors. He dropped this off. I fixed the other one. Um, that, his other amp when he came by, but I didn't make no video of it or nothing because he just waited. Um, anyway, we have no burn up resistor on the combiner or the splitter. It looks like brand new. This is a clean 667, too. Now, what we do have is a half watt 10 ohms smoked. Smoked. And you can see that one there is smoked also. The only 10 ohm that is good is this one. And this transistor may be bad also. And we're going to see. Strange. I mean, just just really strange. You know, and in my time of doing this, I have enough. I have not seen this. I mean, it's hard enough to smoke a half, half watt 10 ohm. But then, uh, I mean, look, it's not burned up. Nothing's burned up. So, I, I, I don't know. I guess I need to check the bias on it. I don't see anything burn up on the bias, but I'm going to check it. Um, and uh, we're going to replace the transistors. I hate replacing transistors in these things. Did I tell you it sucked? <laughs> Get y'all later, fat cat amps. If y'all haven't seen this or got a clue of what the reason was, the only thing I can think of is maybe it was dead keyed so stinking high that it just immediately popped three transistors. Three. And it may have popped four. I don't four of them. I, I don't know. I have to get it out and check it. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get all these repairs out of the way. I got another stage two by eight to do. And some other things, so I got another Texas Star in there. Um I believe it needs power wires and some twenty two nineties. Uh, we'll, we'll see what's up with that one. I just this one here was here, so I just wanted to get it done. Those are two six pills. Uh, you know the time difference in time zone is like it's probably like three in the morning there or something. Hell, I don't know. I'll catch y'all later, fat cat ants. I'm gone.